morning. I hope you're having a wonderful day so far. So my name is Leia. I'm currently on my way to work. Um, it is Tuesday right now, December 20th, I think. I had a really, really good morning so far. So I had my pre-workout, which was like 40 grams, 38 grams of rice. Um, what was it again? I think 16 grams of carb or something like that I wanted to hit. So that's why this weird amount. And then two ounces of chicken. And then I went straight to the gym, did all my cardio for the day, as well as a shoulder and chest workout. And I had the best workout ever. I was so strong compared to the last couple of weeks, which made me really happy. I think this split that I'm following right now really, really does work for me wonders. Uh, so I do legs twice a week, shoulders twice a week, and then back once a week. And I do have two rest days back to back on Saturdays and Sundays. All I want to do on those days is hit at least 10,000 steps, which I can do easily when I walk Kona or we run around a church. But um, I feel like those two back to back recovery days do work wonder for actually um, muscle repairment and improvement and I'm stronger and that's great um, like in every single exercise I, I did today I'm usually doing three main movements and then I want to take accessory movements and in all three of the main movements um, like the last couple of weeks or days whenever I did chest and shoulders I could only do like three normal push-ups I'm still working on my push-ups this time I did five normal push-ups and then five like easier on knee push-ups so great I was able to do three times 10 reps of 15 pounds lateral raises and um, I did struggle working myself up to that but it worked great today and then I did three two times 10 and one time nine reps of 20 pound shoulder presses which is also a record for me I know it's not super strong but I'm very big on mind muscle connection and I do love to do my movements slowly and controlled so I really do focus on that which is why the uh, the weight itself um, outside of the context doesn't really mean anything but if you do the same intensity the same uh, movement pattern with the same like seconds of pushing and pulling and you dare in there improve or increase your weight then you know that you get stronger right and that a increased weight is really helpful and nice and good and attainable and wanted um anyway i had a good morning i did all my cardio went home got ready for work now i'm driving to work and i already mentioned in my last video that now um during like the holiday season and christmas time i do want to um do smart decisions but i also want to enjoy myself so i um have my last week of work of this year and we get really nice lunches at work and the last couple of months and weeks i usually picked always the like healthiest choice or the nutrient dense most nutrient dense choice but this week i um want to include some more fun foods just to get them out of the system because our restaurants that so we get forkable which is like food delivery and they also uh, they always offer different restaurants but the restaurants they like rotate so we every month we get the same restaurants i want to say not every week but um like every month i think they do rotate anyway we are getting a German restaurant today that we had a few times already, but I always decided to go like for a, I don't know, a salmon bowl instead or some like beef or make my own chicken salad at work. But today I want to treat myself with a, what am I getting? It's a sausage, a sauerkraut plate. So apparently I'm going to get a sausage, sauerkraut and mashed potatoes. I don't think I want to eat the mashed potatoes. I'm not really craving that, but I really want the sausage resist, which is still an amazing food and really good for you. So I'd eat that anyway in the circuit too, but I got a pretzel, so I'm gonna have a pretzel. Normally I like to have my carbs since I like to stick to the keto way of eating. If I have carbs, I do them right before or after my workout, but today I'm gonna have a pretzel for lunch. So I'm really excited for that. I love my pretzels. And then, um, 
the rest of the day I'm gonna just stick to my normal foods and meal plan so I'm gonna make some protein pancakes probably in the afternoon and then have some chicken on cucumbers with some butter for my last meal and I think that's how I'm gonna approach the next couple of days mm, I'm gonna treat myself to things but around the street I'm gonna stick to my normal foods um, I did bump up my macros a little bit so when I have those treats, I still want to have them fit in. Otherwise, it doesn't make sense to have macros. I'm not saying that macros are necessary, but if you're trying to stick to macros, you better stick to them. Otherwise, it just doesn't make sense. Anyway, I'm not sure if it makes sense what I'm saying right now. Anyway, um, so I bumped them up a little bit with the days where I like to have a treat. I just upward my uh, carbohydrates a little bit because if I want to have treats, it's really easy to adjust my fats since my fats are already pretty high at 65. And then I up my, I think, carbs to 90. And then around that, I still want to hit 140 grams of protein every day anyway. And then on days where I don't feel like having a treat, I don't have to hit the 90 grams of carbs, right? So, yeah, I hope that makes sense. And then Christmas, I'm gonna, of course, approach intuitive. There's no way I can track that food because I don't know how it was prepared and I still want to enjoy it. Um, you should too. But yeah, I think that's it for now. Uh, I'm gonna go to work, have my breakfast, which is gonna be some Ezekiel toast, two egg whites and an egg. And then I'm gonna have lunch in just a little bit. Already excited for the pretzel, honestly. I love pretzels. Also, I had to stop at UPS right now on the way because I got a really nice jacket from Amazon. It's like a puffed black jacket, but I got it in a size large by accident instead of small. And I love the style, but it's way too big, mm, too big for me. I, I'm i very tall, so like this oversized style that's really in right now looks so funny on me. So I got a still dress to my size. So I'll send that back and then hopefully replace it because I really fell in love with it. And I hope it's gonna not take too long. Anyway, I drop that off and then Head to work. Okay, that lunch was one of the best lunches I've had in a while. It was so good. It just hit the spot. I forgot how much I love. German sausages and pretzels. Anyway, it fit perfectly. It was delicious. Um, after that, we had a our monthly member celebration. So we always have uh, monthly uh, employee celebrations at work. It was really nice. I they had amazing snacks. They, they had like a Whole Foods, a Whole Foods charcuterie board and cake. And Whole Foods has the best cake. So I had a little like a maybe like five grams worth of um, Whole Foods cake and um, some cheese, some some prosciutto they had there. As a, I guess um, instead of my five o'clock meal, I usually eat at like pre-workout, then at nine, at one, at five, and then at eight. So at five, I had this little bit of cheese and prosciutto. And now my actual five o'clock meal and 8 p.m. meal, I have in here together. I'll eat that in a little bit. Um, I don't need a lot anymore today because the, uh, let me actually try if I can put that here. Yeah. So, um, my lunch was hefty enough. Um, it was nice and filling and I got a lot of carbs already in today and also quite enough fat. Um, I think at 60, 65 already. So I don't need any butter on here right now. I just have eight ounces of chicken because I'm really low on protein. Normally I have around 35 grams of protein per meal, but my lunch didn't have 35 grams and my 5 p.m. snack definitely didn't have 35 grams of protein. But um, anyway, so I'm um, stocking up on some protein now at night eight ounces of chicken and just some cucumbers that I had diced up already. I always dice them up, put salt on them and let them ferment in the fridge. They get a little bit like pickles then. I love the, the taste of that. It's so good. I think that's my favorite vegetable right now. Mm. Anyway, Kona deserves a little walk right now. And I have maybe like an hour to 45 minutes to relax. 
And then we're gonna go to Christmas in the Park in San Jose with our wine group. That's gonna be fun tonight. I don't know what to wear yet though, because it's gonna be cold and I'm always super cold. So I think I'll wear this as one layer. I have like a top and a long sleeve shirt underneath anyway already. Um, and then I'll put like a huge coat on top and a scarf so you can see this. Just to stay warm because I'm cold. Wanna go party? Make your meal? You left all the cucumbers. I only gave her cucumbers because yesterday she ate some. And she loved them yesterday when she saw me eating them. Normally she gets... Oh, I think she's eating it now. Normally she gets... Um, a little bit of rice and beef or chicken and liver but i forgot to thaw her liver yesterday or like her meals yesterday because i always prep them and then i freeze them in those little bags so i always have a chicken fresh but then rice and liver i have some pouches for her but yesterday i forgot to thaw hers so she got some makeshift dinner right now anyway I'm gonna take her out and then head to Christmas in the park. Excited. the next morning and go work out so I didn't go work out like yesterday morning but Tuesday night when we got home we also found a little surprise Kona got in her treat bag or like treat drawer she's never done that before I think it was my fault because I left it open a little bit and she I, I actually caught her while she was eating the treats so she hasn't eaten that many yet happily but she went through like a good half a bag of greenies and she paid for it because she you don't eat pretty much she had some like huge ch <laughs> sorry for tmi but she had huge chunks coming out of her um so we had her sleep in the bathroom which was a good idea because throughout the night she had a few more throw ups she was all fine then yesterday right after i think it was just her overeating a lot um sorry that it's jiggling so much i'm trying to stabilize it but i'm not sure if it's working that well anyway so that was our Tuesday night, Wednesday morning. Then Wednesday we went to Palo Alto downtown and spent a good like three hours there again with my husband's family. Um, it was really nice. We just walked around. I shopped some Christmas presents. And then for lunch we went to Fa because I really wanted to try a Fa place under our apartment that opened there a while ago. It's called Fa Ever, I think. I think so yeah it was amazing it was so delicious so I had that for lunch um, I had um, spring rolls as well as a bowl of pho with raw beef and I don't usually eat the noodles when they come in pho I just love the broth and the meat and then just to be filled up anyway I got some um, spring rolls on the side my favorite thing ever and I think it was like what $20 altogether so completely doable and 
I got my food served within like two minutes, so that was really nice. Nevertheless, the whole morning and afternoon was like a blur because I was so tired. I really felt the lack of sleep. Though I got, I still got like six hours of sleep, but when it's so like shifted forward, I wanna say, then it just hits differently, apparently. Um, but anyway, I got a workout in yesterday, cleaned the whole house. Then at night, my husband came home and he got sick. He was so sick last night. So his mom came over and gave him a huge, uh, like a shot, um, which helped, I think. Like he fell asleep pretty much right away, but now I'm scared that I'm gonna get sick. I feel fine right now, but for him, it like hit him out of nowhere and like aggressively. So I don't know if I'm already over it and um, it's not gonna hit me anymore or if it's just a delayed hitting right now. So fingers crossed. Anyway, after work, I already had pre-workout. Um, instead of chicken because i was out of chicken i had three egg white wraps and in there i put the, the rice and put some like um sweetener on the rice so it tasted a little bit like arroz con leche i imagined arroz con leche um how do you call them tamales i don't know if that even exists but it was really good mm. and then i had a good workout right now i was still sore i did legs and was still sore from monday got that out of the way and now I'm off to work, I think for breakfast, instead of um, my usual breakfast of a piece of Ezekiel bread, an egg, and two egg whites, and some butter I'm gonna have. Um, Catalina Crunch, I think is the name, the cereal that you get at Costco. I love that, like, cinnamon cereal. I don't like cinnamon toast crunch, but I love that cinnamon cereal. And I've really been craving that since last night, weirdly. So I think I'll substitute that with, like, half a shake of core power i think it's called with the cow on it really craving that so i think i'll have that and then i'll do my best to document something from lunch but we have a few people coming today um from our headquarters they're gonna come to a tour and then also have lunch with us and i'm hosting them like i invited them on so i don't want to um, throw them out or throw around my phone everywhere and in all faces so not sure how I'll do that. Maybe I'll sneak a picture. If so, I insert it right here. I ordered a um, bibimbap. I think you. Uh, I always forget the name, but like one of those rice bowls. Really had a craving for that too, and wanted to get it out before the new year. Um, excited for that. It's just gonna be chicken, vegetables, and egg. I think, and a little bit of rice on the bottom. Um, I'll still want to calculate everything and I'll see how much of the rice I want to eat. I calculated 150 grams for now. I'm not sure if I'll eat it all or just a little bit. But yeah, that's it for now. Off to work. Let's have a great day. It's my second last day at work of the year. So let's make it count. Anyway, enough rambling. I'll see you in a little bit. It is Thursday now. It is Thursday already. And I honestly don't really remember where I left off the last I think it was the um, the rice bowl, right? It was delicious anyway. Um, between that video and right now, we went to LA for over Christmas. So Christmas Eve we were here, we enjoyed it with family. It was amazing, it was delicious. And then we went to um, to LA, to Disneyland and Universal on the first Christmas day and the 26th. And then we, so we drove there overnight and also drove back overnight, which means the trip itself was quite exhausting. Um, on Tuesday, I pretty much just hung out at home, did a quick workout, didn't feel my best either. But um, when it comes to nutrition over Christmas, I enjoyed myself, but I also made sure to get some quality foods prepared already ahead of time so when we went to LA I had packed some chicken with me I had some like egg white wrap filled with turkey breast and butter to just have my proteins filled and then in Disneyland I knew I wanted to have a chocolate apple a caramel chocolate apple I get those every year because they're so good it's my favorite thing and then I had bites out here and there I've got like huge like a Simpsons donut at Universal and I had a bite of that that was amazing we had some like turkey leg and just delicious stuff but all together I, I think I ate around maintenance uh, with everything like 18 to 
1800 to 2000 calories a day so really super controlled and I'm very happy about that because it just made me makes me feel better the next days right so now since we are back I used this week a little bit to um to trial the upcoming um, meal plan already I built that a couple of weeks ago for the next uh, for the upcoming year also based off of what I've been eating over the carnivore diet and animal based time I did um, but including also some higher carb days so I do a little bit of carb cycling 